Hi there, this is Sunil from SKCJ FX and in this video we are going to create Thor's Hammer using Blender. So without any delay, let's get started. Open Blender. To get the shape of our hammer, we need to stretch our cube in the X axis. Let's go to the modifier and select the bevel modifier and increase the value of offset. This looks fine. So now I'm going to the edit mode and I'm going to select the faces on the edge and I'm going to scale it down and stretch it up. So this makes a trapezoid look on the edges. Let's select the insert faces option and select the trapezoidal edge. I am going to insert some of the faces on each and every corner of the trapezoidal edge. I am going to put the value of 0.03 which looks fine for me. You can put any value that you want. After inserting the faces of our trapezoidal edge, I am going to select those edges and I am going to extrude it. I am going to extrude in the value of minus 0.06 in the Z axis which looks fine for me. Now I am going to add a plane. The reason which I am adding a plane because our model Thor Summer has some of the cubical cuts on the faces. So to get those cuts I am going to use this plane edit mode and I am going to use some loop cuts and I am going to edit those loop cuts and I will be adding a solidify modifier and selecting the cube I am going to use boolean modifier to cut the top. By completing the process which I mentioned before, we got that cubical cut on our armor. To get the exact same cut on the other side of our armor, I am going to select the plane and I am going to hit right click, set origin and origin to the cursor. Now I am going to rotate the plane in Z axis at 180 degree. Again I am going to add the boolean modifier to the plane using the cube. So we can get the exact same cut on the other side of our ammo. I am going to add the plane and I am going to add a cube. I am going to use this cube. To get those bottom two cuts, I am going to follow the same procedure which I did before for the plane.
so we got every cuts like the bottom cut and the side faces cut of our hammer we need to get those trapezoidal designs which are available in the Thor's hammer to get those design i'm going to duplicate the cube and i'm going to edit mode select all the faces and i'm going to unselect the faces those trapezoidal faces and i'm going to delete other faces as of now i'm going to leave those faces as like it is later on i will explain how i am going to add those design to those faces i am going to add a cylinder and bring it down and scale it up i am going to increase the segments from 32 to 80 and I am going to add a bevel modifier which will give nice smooth curves on the edges. Now I am going to edit mode and I am going to add a loop cut in the center and scale it down and I am also going to add another loop cut at the bottom of the cylinder. And I am going to give a nice smooth round handle shape. I am going to add another cylinder and bring it down and scale it down. And I am going to duplicate the same cylinder and rotate it by 90 degree. And I am going to shrink the cylinder in one of the sides. So we got a nice curved shape. Let's cut it down by using the boolean modifier. So we got this round shaped handle at the bottom of our hammer. By selecting the cylinder which we are going to use for the bottom handle, I am going to the edit mode and I am going to use extrude modifier and I am going to extrude some of the faces and I am going to create nice shaped bottom handle. For the bottom rope, I am going to use the curve. So, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and search for Add Curves Extra Objects. Make sure the add-on is enabled. So, let's add the curve. Add the circle curve and change it from 2D to 3D and bring it down to the bottom. Edit mode and change the shape of the curve. After editing the curve, let's go to the curve properties and extrude the curve. And also I am going to add a solidify modifier which will give you a curved shaped rope structure. You can change it into a mesh if you want.
So we are done with our modeling so let's add some textures to our object. For the metal texture I used a image from the web and also I changed the metallic value to get the shining and smooth texture on the head of the hammer and also for the handle I used a basic color and I changed the roughness value to get a shining handle. and the design present on those tapezoids I used a PNG Finally I added some torus to the handle and also I added a cylinder on the top of the hammer which gives a nice finishing touch. I added a 360 degree rotation animation. Let's see our animation. And for more videos related to After Effects Blender Photoshop, do subscribe our channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.